Hey, how you doing today? God bless. Uh, come to you. I am tired. I'm shot. I painted earlier. Oh, what is that? that, that that's a lot of work. I think I work all the when I'm home than I do when I'm at work. No, I work hard. But, uh, yeah. It is a lot of work. It's physical work. I don't, you know, I'm not used to that. Physical work. But, I'm not a big fan of painting either. But, uh, you do it. Whatever, you gotta do it, right? You know. Uh, with money be hiring people or whatever, so... I do it, and, uh, that's it. You know. Grateful that I have this house that, uh, you know, God was able to... Provide this house for me. You know, to give me this house. You know, to provide me with the job. So I could pay the, pay the bills and everything. And... I'm grateful for that. So, you know, you gotta take care of your things, right? And God takes care of his children. And we are all God's children. And, you know, I was reading uh, 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel today, and they got Hannah, Hannah, uh, Samuel's mother, and she prayed. She prayed for a child, right? And uh, she prayed, and she said, she said, Father, she basically said, Father, if you give me a child, you know, I will give him to you. And I, uh, a hair on his head will not be shaved. He will be yours, right? And the Lord did bless her with a child, and she gave him to the she gave him to him. What she did was give him to the priest. You know, the high priest, the priest at the time. And, uh, yeah. And, she, and the Lord blessed her still, you know. And she gave, he gave her three more sons and two more daughters, right? And, uh, yeah. And he blessed Samuel. And Samuel became, you know, a big prophet, you know. And now Samuel, you know, was, David and everything like that. Eli was the priest's name. I couldn't think of his name. And uh, I'm going to read Hannah's prayer. I always love this prayer. Hannah's prayer, right? Hannah, Hannah had a... When she gave her. And Hannah's prayer. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like the Lord, for there is none beside you. There is no rock like our God. Take you no. Know, talk no more so, talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come out from your mouth, for the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind in strength. Those who are full of have hired themselves out for bread. But those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. The baron has borne seven, but she who has many children is full. The Lord kills and breaks her life. He brings out the Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts up the needy from the ash heap. He makes them sit with princesses and inherits a seat of honor for the pillars of the earth of the Lord and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might shall a man prevail, the adversities, the adversities of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven, and the Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horns of his anointed over the Lord. His king is the king of kings, the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ is, is God. Yes, he is, and he exalted, and he exalted him, the horn of his anointed. Yes, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and by him we are all saved. And he gives us all this that she talks about, all this that she talks about. You know, you're talking about the poor. You know, the poor. You might not have anything now, though, but in heaven you have everything. And that is by the grace of God. 
through his son, Jesus Christ, who shed his blood on a cross for us. You call on him and believe him and you go into heaven and leave the treasure. Because the, here we have, everything we have, we leave here. There's nothing here. Nothing that we take with us. Everything is just here, is on earth. That's it. You know, whether you die, when you die, whether you go to hell or heaven, and let me tell you, there ain't nothing coming with you. All the money you got, billions of dollars, it ain't coming with you. You could have m millions of dollars worth of cars. You could have all these houses and stuff like that, though, but no, it ain't coming with you. You will go to heaven if you believe on the name of Jesus and you call out his name and you repent of all your sins and accept him as your Lord and Savior. You will go to heaven and you will have treasures in heaven. Whether you live in a box or you live in a mansion, you know, there will be treasures in heaven. Yes, there will be. Yes, there will be. He said it. In my father's house there are many mansions and I go to and I will prepare a place for you. Yes. Yes. And Jesus' word is true. And believe on that. You know, believe on him. You're feeling, whether you're poor or whether you're rich or whatever you are right now. If you're feeling alone and you're feeling out of, out of it, call on the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, your life will change. And it'll change for the better. And when you die, you have treasures in heaven. Oh, yes, you will. That's a promise. God's, built, God's word is built on promises. Yes, it will. Yes. And what will we be doing? Singing praises to the God because, oh, he, he deserves it. He deserves all the honor and the glory. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. For everything that he does for us, yes, he does. He deserves it all. He is the God of the Most High. King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yes. Yes. Call out the name of Jesus. Call out the name of Jesus. And if you believe that you need a Savior today, say this prayer with me. Father, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died for my sins and that you raised him to life. And that I want to trust him as my savior and follow him as Lord from this day forward. Guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, pick up a Bible, find a church, you know, that's what it's about. And try to help somebody else out. Spread his word. That's what it's about. That's all. You want a new life? You want a new life? Call on him. Call on him. Call on him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Come. Come. And he's saying, come. You're thirsty. You're hungry. Come. Come. Come to me. All who are weary and heavy burdened. All who are weary and heavy burdened. We'll read it right here. John chapter 3. Truly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, Truly I say to you, unless one is born of water and a spirit, he cannot enter the king of kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is the spirit. And that's the truth. You cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you were born again. Believe on that in the name of Jesus. If you say that prayer with me just now, you will be born again. You will accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and that's what it is. You don't even have to say the whole thing. You just say, Father, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you, you sent your son down here to 
to save me from my sins. And he lifted him up on the third day. And I will follow him as my Lord and Savior all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that you did. And on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. I love you. And that God loves you. God loves us all so much that he sent his only begotten son. That he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. I always like the second one. I always like the 17. I always like that. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. But in order that the world might be saved through him. And that's what he did. And that's, that's what Jesus did. By dying on that cross. That we are saved through him. There's only one. There's only one. Forget about anybody else. No, I, no, no Muhammad, no nothing. No, no Dalai Lama, no nothing. Only Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no one that goes to the Father except through me. Except through me, Jesus says. Not me, Jesus. And that's the truth. Amen and God bless.